future broiler. Soak up a couple of little skewers. You're going to bring home from the butcher a marbled sirloin or whatever meat has a nice fair price. Tell them you're gonna make a skewer and broil it. You want a nice marbled piece of meat so it'll be good and tender uh, when you, uh, for quick cooking. We're gonna cook it on a slotted broiler pan. If you lost this years ago, no big deal. You can make one of these by taking a baking sheet, putting a metal rack on top of it, and all the fat will fall away while the meat gets nice and crispy. So, <clears throat> room temperature meat. We're gonna let marinate a few minutes with garlic. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Lots of rosemary. Kosher salt. Kosher salt makes a delicious crust on meat of any kind, including ground meat. So if you're making beef burgers or a sirloin steak, kosher salt equals good tasty crust. Lots of black pepper. Olive oil. Let him hang out for a minute. For the potatoes, one large starchy russet potato per adult portion, peeled, cubed, then you parboil them for five minutes so you get quick cooking hash brown style potatoes. Then drain them, put them back into the hot pot to evaporate any of the liquid left on the potato. You do not wanna put anything wet into a hot pan with hot fat. We're gonna add some olive oil. Melt a little butter into the olive oil. Swirl. When your butter foams, it's ready. Add the potatoes. Season with salt, <clears throat> pepper, smoked sweet paprika. Give them a little flip and let them get nice and crisp. Take your skewers, skewer up your beef, throw it under the broiler. I'm gonna make a spicy ketchup. It tastes like a Bloody Mary right after this. We've got some smoked paprika hash brown potatoes cooking up in olive oil and butter. Over here, a little ketchup, organic ketchup or low sugar ketchup, half a cup. And then we're gonna make a taste kind of like a Bloody Mary. Uh, you know, I was thinking of vampires, blood, hey, Ketchup that tastes like Bloody Marys. Pretty good, pretty good. So, <clears throat> a little horseradish, about two tablespoons of prepared horseradish, as much hot sauce as you like. I really like hot sauce. I'm gonna pull a little shaker top off. Come on, come on. <laughs> you can do a few drops, I like a few gulps. And of course, anytime I make beef, I'm using my Worcestershire. Everything but the kitchen sink in here. <clears throat> Lots of black pepper. Done. Bloody ketchup. Yum. So, this is a 30 minute meal. Super delicious, especially if you love garlic. Garlic beef skewers, cubes of sirloin, lots of rosemary, lots of garlic, olive oil, kosher salt, black pepper. In this bowl, spicy watercress, lemon juice, olive oil, salt. Lettuce is peppery enough. The spicy watercress greens. Watercress goes down. Wow. <laughs> Garlic, cheese, beer, they usually get mmm. Watercress doesn't usually get a mmm. <laughs> Good for you, little buddy. Okay. <laughs> then you take your garlicky skewers, pop that up on top. Uh. Then, 
Take your smoked paprika, crispy hash brown potatoes, put her alongside. Then, take your spicy Bloody Mary ketchup so you can dip your beef and your potatoes in that. Come 